Well, I'm just now looking at myself and here's a little out of place, but we're at the pool, so I think it's just time for another 52 weeks wine. Let's drink. This week it's all about Chardonnay, and I asked everybody else here at the pool, here's everybody else, if Chardonnay was a good poolside beverage. Well, results are in? We don't know. But we're going to drink it here anyway because nobody wants to get out of the pool. So, uh, this week a little Dominican Oaks. Grayson in the background and two bottles of Dominican Oaks, a 2013 and a 2014. Uh, they are both Chardonnays. One is oaked, one is not. A simple experiment, you know, an oaked wine or oak Chardonnay versus non oak Chardonnay, but a lot of people have never uh, tried them back to back, so that's what we're going to do. Who's ready to drink? Who's ready to drink? All right, let's pour. Everybody's taking their first sip right now. We don't know if it's oaked or unoaked. We know it's from Dominican Oaks, if they've ever had that before, but let's see what we think. <laughs> Grant here had a good question. No, sir, it's not from the Dominican. It's from a vineyard in California called Dominican Oaks. What do you think? Hi, right, Grant. Thoughts? It's really good. I think it's better that it's, like, it's really good. cold, I think, <laughs> but... <laughs> Deep thoughts there from our friend Grant Ackerley. It's Grant, free. any any <laughs> flavors you taste in there with the coldness of the wine? I taste grapes. Uh, <laughs> it's very fruity. Yeah. Uh, it's more fruity than anything else, I think. All right, yeah. So uh, it's I like the texture of it. It's really smooth. There's not a lot of like tannins in there. It doesn't feel rough at all. It's nice and smooth. Grayson brought up a good point. Fun fact of the day, white wines do not contain tannins. Tannins come from the skin of a grape, and white wine is not made with skins. If you ever pick up a glass of red wine, you're like, man, my mouth feels really dry, my gums are feeling dry, that's why I don't like red wines, is because you don't like high tannins in your wines. If you don't like tannins, stick more to the whites, you're not going to see it as much. There's still a lot of great reds out there for you, but, you know, Chardonnay, you're not going to see tannins. What do you think about this wine? You haven't chimed in yet. Well, it's pretty good. It's wine, and I like wine, so I like it. Asking a white wine drinker, I mean a red wine drinker about white wines, you know, it doesn't go over well. But yeah, um, I like some of the thoughts that were said today. A lot of tropical fruits, um, definitely kind of got that, that sweet white feeling. But while it tastes sweet, it's, it's really a dry wine. It's the fruit flavors that are bringing the sweetness out, but it is a dry, you can, you can feel it kind of in your mouth. This wine is, um, it, it's the unoaked wine. It's the unoaked Dominican, which means it's, um, I just told me to delete that one. I did not. I said, um, a, like a ton of times. So we're moving on. Like Unoaked means, unoaked means that it was, uh, fermented in a stainless steel vat after the grapes were being picked. So it's not going to get the flavors from a barrel. Try the second wine where it's out. I do. I do. Hands up. I do. Hands up. Alright. We'll be right back, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Talk about the wine first. Grayson. <laughs> okay. Well, I like it as much as the first one. Uh, I like the sweeter stuff first, but it's got a lot of heartness in it. Uh, it's not overkill, so I'm okay with it. But uh, it's not as tropical fruity, but it's still fruity. It's more like apples <laughs> and pears, but just not as fruity. It's a little bit more tart. Build up my. Oh yeah, I got I caught you red handed. Like the other Final one. thought. <laughs> you like the other one? Yeah. Why? Because this one's all earthy and drier. Great point. Uh, the last one had a lot of citrus fruits. You find a lot more tree fruits here. Your apples, your pears, your green apple. And definitely those earthy undertones that come from being oaked versus sitting in a stainless steel vat or barrel or whatever they like to call it at a vineyard. Seems like a simple experiment, drinking an oaked versus an unoaked of the exact same Chardonnay, but a lot of people have never done it. Pick up two bottles, try them back to back sometime. I'm extremely surprised how two of the exact same grapes uh, from the exact same harvest, I mean these are a year off, will taste incredibly different. Guys, well I'm getting back in the pool, so cheers, and until next time. Bye. Hi. Bye. Bye. I hope you find your dad. Haha, <laughs> 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 buddy reference.